Tola says once elected to power, he will reduce the cabinet from the current more than 30 to only 12 ministers, and at least 40% of those ministers will be young people under the age of 35. Dr. Tola said this during the launch of what he called a, quote, People's Manifesto on Saturday in the capital. A multitude of people turned up on the outskirts of Van Hook on Saturday, marching from Shanghai Street in Katatura to the Havana Sports Ground. The term independent presidential candidate is resonating for the first time almost 30 years after independence. However, the independent candidate remains a member of the ruling party who will go against Swapo's preferred candidate, Dr. Hagi in the presidential election. The crowd chanted with songs and dance, Namibia is all we have, Namibia is not for sale, we must save it. While Dr. Itula was sharing handshakes with the crowd before telling them his promises once elected into power. He said his cabinet will constitute business experts, academics and technocrats identified on merit regardless of their political attachment. My intention as president is to put us on the right path to implement the necessary changes I have identified and to pass on the thought to a new president when sufficient progress has been made. I will save only one thing. I will save only one thing. Some of his promises to the voters includes delivery of farming land and housing together with other tangible resources to indigenous people. Itula says he will make it his priority to address sanitation, water and electricity deficit in all settlements, especially in remote areas. His other ambitious plans include an additional and equitable social protection scheme, enhance vocational education and address unemployment through what he termed verifiable job seekers allowance. Until 80% of the informal settlements has got water, electricity and sanitation, I shall not take up residence in state now. I'll stay in Kapitura. Evils are a creation of governments that do not look after their people. No one is born a thief. Thieves are made thieves by a government that doesn't care for their people. So the army will come up, and unemployed people will come up. You will dig trenches for cables, for water, electricity, and sewage system. You will do it for yourself. The presidential challenger also vowed to fight corruption and retrieve the billions lost through alleged corruption. Now, I can't understand why a government and its institutions can go around the country and then fund these very same people just for the people to come back and say you are not qualified. How can we build a nation when we've got no people trained? It is illegal and completely destructive of new minds when you are sitting around with nobody to actually pay your education. Gender equity and environmental protection are also on his list of priorities. Some African countries with fewer resources and bigger populations are outperforming us economically. Something must be wrong with our strategies and decisions or even the way that we implement our decisions. This manifesto sets out what we need to do to install good governance and identifies priorities to retain the benefits of our country's riches to our people. No, no, no to phosphate mining in Namibia. Never shall we allow that. Itula, who is still a Swapo member, thus called on all Namibians, regardless of their political affiliations, to vote for him, saying that he is the right vehicle for change. Stop electing people according to political party. If you do that, you are insulting your intelligence. You have been told what's right. You need to decide what is right. On Sunday, Dr. Itula proceeded to take his manifesto to the Irongo region's coastal town of Balfish Bay. Daniel Nardunia and Bicinius then <laughs> asked.